In this video, I will let you know the seven things you need to know before you go out and buy the Canon Image Class 733 CDW. One, replacing the toner is very easy. Open the toner door, slide out the toner tray, and then pull up on whichever toner needs replacing. The toners arrive excellently packaged and with no ribbons, or stickers. Drop them in and they're good to go. When you fire up the printer the first time, they'll grind a bit as their internal mechanism opens. Two, the paper tray is way too small. It only holds 300 sheets, which is enough for half a pack of paper with a little bit of margin for error when you're splitting the package. On a printer this size, I really expected at least 500 sheets. Three, there are six connectivity options and countless cloud options. Local connections include a USB 2.0 cable, a USB port for flash media, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wireless, gigabit ethernet, and NFC connection for Android only. Both Android and Apple devices will be able to print via many different cloud offerings. Canon Print Business, Apple AirPrint, Mopria Print Service, as well as Google Cloud Print. The NFC will enable you to tap and print with your Android device through some of these services. A little bonus fact is that this printer has Wi-Fi Direct. It basically makes it a very simple access point if you don't happen to have a wireless router. This printer is huge, but easy to set up. Amazon lists the dimensions of 47 centimeters by 47 centimeters by 46 centimeters. However, if you plan on using the flatbed scanner, you need at least 75 centimeters of height. The printer itself weighs a metric ton. Actually, it weighs about 55 pounds, but because of the size of the box, it is ridiculously hard to carry down the stairs. Make sure you enlist a friend to help you carry it. Because of its size, this printer is located in my laundry room. It just would not fit on my desk. Despite its weight, unboxing the device and setting it up was very easy. 5. Connecting this to a wired network is the easiest way to get started. I plugged a network cable from the printer into my network before I turned it on the first time. Lo and behold, it was seen on my network, Windows 10 installed it with two clicks. It was very, very easy to get printing. 6. The touch screen needs some work. For the last couple of seconds, I've been counting the number of missed touches I had on this screen. It's actually quite frustrating. It seems like the calibration is slightly off, and sometimes the menu will light up like it's registered a touch, but it just won't respond. A little bit clumsy, a little bit slow. It's something they could definitely improve on. 7. Buy the expensive toners for the best value. This seems a little bit weird, but trust me, it's true. There are two different toners available the 046H and the 046. The 046H is currently on Amazon for $135, and for the black variant, it'll handle 6,300 pages. This equates to about 2.1 cents US per page black. If you buy the normal capacity, it's $78 US on Amazon.com. Both of them are on sale. It's good for 2,300 prints. This is 3.3 cents per page. So it's actually a third cheaper to go with the more expensive toners in the long run. So if you can afford it up front, go with the high capacity ones. Getting the genuine cartridges from Canon's website, you'd be looking at almost $1,000 for all four toners. Thankfully on Amazon, they're about half price. Overall, this printer is pretty full featured. I'm really happy to have it in my house. We don't print often enough for an inkjet printer and we find that the nozzles always clog. You don't get this problem with laser printers, and because this one can network scan, everyone in the house can use it, and I don't have to leave a computer on with more simple printers. It's a little expensive up front, and the toner is expensive, but in the grand scheme of things, the cost per print is still competitive, and I'm really happy with this printer. If you found this review helpful, please like and subscribe, or if you're on Amazon, leave it a helpful vote. I try and answer questions as soon as I can, so if you have any, absolutely leave a comment or ask a question on Amazon. Have a good one.